Hello and welcome to this STM32 tips video. Today I would like to play together with STM32 L5 Trust Zone and HDP, and I would like to do it in a safe way. First, a reminder about Trust Zone and HDP. The only prob problematic that I address in this slide is the connection. You've got four levels of RDP when you have Trust Zone activated. RDP level 0, that means you can always connect. RDP level 2, mean you can't connect at all to your target. But in RDP 0.5 or RDP 1, you can connect for sure, but only when the core is in non-secure state. That means when the core is running some code in the non-secure application. So the consequences is if you want to connect in RDP 0.5 or 1, you must ensure that your core executed non-secure application. So what happened in fact if I don't have any application on my target or it has been erased by error. Have I bricked my device? In fact, the answer is inside the warning you can see in Cube Programmer when you try to activate RDP. The first one gives you the solution. We strongly recommend that you keep N Software Boot T0 check in order to be able to switch manually boot address from Flash to RSS using external boot T0 pin. And it was this mechanism we will experiment together. After you've got a second warning, your device may be lost forever. And sometimes it will frighten you and you won't activate and you won't experiment everything. So it's why I'm doing this video. So let's see how we can activate the RSS and what is the RSS. In fact, RSS is some code that is inside the system flash. And it's a task that will allocate resources, flash and SRAM, to non-secure and then launch the embedded bootloader which is a non-secure code. That means when the embedded bootloader is running, the core is in non-secure state. That means we manage to connect. How we can activate the root security system? The information is in the reference manual, but I can sum up it for you. At the reset, the system tests the bootlog bit option byte. If this one is set to zero, you will test another option byte, which name is N Software Boot T0. Depending on the value, then you will test the Boot T0 pin or the N Boot T0 bit, which is another option byte. And then, depending on the value, you will boot to the SecBoot address, which will be an address in Flash, or RSS, the root security system. So, if you want to play with RDP and Trust Zone, if you can ensure this pass is available on your target, you can always activate the boot T0 pin, the root security system, and ensure the core is in the non-secure state and you will be able to connect. So what is the full checklist to do before trying to activate the RDP? First, check the RSS bootloader version. I give you the address, it's also in the reference manual. This RSS bootloader version should not be D0. If you've got D0, that means you don't have a full RSS mechanism. So please take care. Then check the option by config. We already discussed this. Bootlog bit should not be set, while the end software boot T0 bit should be set. And then, then you should ensure that on your target, you manage to access the boot T0 pin. So on the Nucleo, it's quite simple. It's a connector 11, pin 7. For the development kit, please have a look in the user manual of the board. It's well explained, but a little bit tricky, frankly speaking. Let's switch to our target. First, let's check the RSS bootloader version. So always this address, size 1, and I'm connected to my target. The version of my RSS is 19. No problem, it's not D0, so the version is OK. Let's switch to the option byte. Here we can see that Trust Zone is not activated. I know it because all the security option bytes are not here. So first, I will activate my Trust Zone. As you can see now, we've got some secure area, so Trust Zone is well activated. Let's check now the bootlog bit and the end software boot T0. It was in the user configuration. At the bottom, we've got bootlock. This one is not checked, okay? Perfect. Then the end software boot T0 is checked. That means we are taking boot T0 from the boot T0 pin. 
connection is OK. Now I propose to erase my chip. That means I have nothing in the flash. That means when you will boot, there is no code. So the core will be in the secure state. And I will activate RDP 0 0.5. This first warning I already told you about. Are you sure your device may be lost forever? OK, let's do it. Option by fail now. It can't upload because, in fact, it can't, don't manage to reconnect. If I try to connect again, as you can see, it's not possible. The core is in secure state. My RDP level is 0 0.5, so I can connect. I need to activate now the RSS. And to do this, I just need to put the boot T0 pin to level 1. How I can do this? I will do a short connection, shortcut, on the connector 11 between the pin 5 and the pin 7. Pin 7 is my boot T0 pin, pin 5 is VDD. If I press reset, you can see the both LEDs that switch on. That means we are in the RSS or the embedded vocoder precisely. So now I will manage to connect for sure. Let's check this. If I press connect, yes, everything is working fine. Now I can do a regression to the level zero. And at the same time, and this is the only way to do it, I can deactivate the zone. Because to deactivate the zone, you need to do a regression from RDP 0 0.5 or RDP 1 to RDP 0. And I apply. That's it. We managed to recover our board. So, what we have seen together, we know how to play now with uh, STM32 trust zone and RDP level and do it safely. We know how to remove also trust zone configuration now. So, I hope it helps you to feel confident to play with all our security mechanisms. Thanks for your attention.